and we're back YouTube back in the garage and as you can tell by the sweat we are midway through multiple projects today we're actually working on the Scion TC and the Jaguar as you can see but today's video is gonna be all about the Scion and as you can tell by the thumbnail we're gonna be doing the most important test for really any engine out there any used engine that gives you peace of mind and that is the compression test <laughs> over here at the workbench there's really only one special tool you need I'll put a link down below it will be an affiliated link so if you do purchase from my link I do receive a commission it'll be a link to one of the compression testers that you can find online this is the one that I'm borrowing from one of my buddies here so you open it up you're gonna have of course your little gauge there this one is quick connect which is awesome and then you're gonna have multiple different sizes of hoses and these hoses are pretty much what's going to connect into the spot where your spark plugs go. I already went ahead and pre-looked and figured out which hose I need, which is this one. So this is all we're going to need, so we're going to head over to the car. Alright, we got the hood open and we are ready to go. I've kind of skipped ahead, pretty much just removing the spark plugs and the coil packs. To do a quick review over what you're going to do, of course you take off your engine cover. You have your coil packs in there with one bolt for each coil pack. You take those guys off, set them aside, and then of course you have your spark plugs, which you go ahead and take out all of your spark plugs. Make sure there's no debris down there first because you're going to have your cylinders open. But yeah, take out all your spark plugs, set them aside, and then that's when you'll simply grab your compression tester. These threads match up with the spark plugs. Go ahead and pick the cylinder you want to start with. I'm going to start with my cylinder number four, and then you're going to thread this guy in there by hand. Do not torque this down. Just tighten it by hand. All right, so here we go. We're in engine bay and we got the compression tester in cylinder number one ready to go, but you're not quite ready to start quite yet because you don't want to be dumping fuel into the engine while you're doing this compression test. So for Scion TCs, it's really simple to disable your injectors. You're gonna see one right there on the bottom row that says 20 amps. That's gonna be the yellow fuse on the bottom left. And while you're in here, go ahead and pull out the 15 amp. That's the blue one that you see right here in the bottom middle. That's for your ignition. So you take out both of those fuses and you disable your injectors and you disable your coil packs. So yeah, that's all you need. Disable the fuel injectors, disable the spark, have all cylinders open, compression tester in there. And now it's time to get in the car and start to crank. If you're doing this with one person, one trick that I've used is my borescope. I just kind of held it up and pointed it to the gauge so that I can use my phone and I can watch the gauge as I'm in there cranking it. Um, it's easier with two people that can be in there cranking it while you stand here and watch the gauge go. And essentially, you'll see it here in a second, but we're just going to watch and we're going to keep cranking until that needle goes all the way up to its highest point and stops moving. And once you hit that top number, that's your compression for that cylinder. So without further ado, let me set this camera up so you guys can watch, and I'm gonna go in the car and start cranking. All right, guys, here we go. And there we go, guys. Cranked it for a while, and as you can see right there, we are at 190 190 psi and that is great that is perfect right there so before you remove this and move on to your next cylinder there's a little button right here to relieve the pressure you press that button relieves the pressure and now you simply just unscrew this guy and then move on to your next cylinder so essentially it's just a rinse and repeat process so i'm not going to show you all four cylinders so like i said just move on to your next cylinder Start cranking, crank it for a while. If you're looking at it with your bore scope, crank it till you see the needle stop. If you don't have somebody with you, just crank it for probably at least a good 10 seconds. One thing to note, make sure you have a good battery so you don't run out of battery during this process. But the main thing that you wanna see over here on the workbench, I actually have the page bookmarked. Here's my 08 service manual. The main thing you wanna see is how good is that 190 compression? So if you go to this page, gives you all the details compression over here your standard pressure 1300 kpa down here at the bottom is psi standard pressure 189 psi so boom we actually hit 190 
and that means we're doing better than standard pressure. Gives you some more details down here. Minimum pressure, 145. So if you do this test and you're at or below 145, yeah, you got a problem with your rings, maybe your valve seats, something's wrong with that specific cylinder. It even gives you some more detail as far as difference in between each cylinder, and that's 14 PSI. Let me go ahead and do the other three cylinders, and then we'll check out what all my values sit at. So there we go, guys. We are done, and we have all the numbers here ready to go on my phone. So jumping back over to the book, remember, 189 is standard pressure. That means you're good. So drum roll, please. Boom. There you go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Cylinder number four, 189. The cylinder number three, 186. Number two, also 186. And then the last but not least, cylinder number one, all the way to the left, was 188. I could have probably called it 189, but I was just being a stickler. So that is great news. That is exciting news. This old girl here, even though she's got 200,000 miles on the dash, previous owner stated that she had an engine swap, so this motor is apparently 150,000 miles. But nonetheless, we now can confirm, and we are now for sure that this engine is still good as far as the rings go and as far as the valves go. All right, so last but not least, you just gotta put everything back together. Go ahead and put your spark plugs back in there. And I put a little bit more NTCs on them, the copper type. Make sure you're using that universal joint, like I always recommend. Torque your spark plugs to 14 foot pounds. Throw your coil packs in there. Throw your coil pack bolts in there. Torque these to 80 inch pounds. And of course, hook back up your ignition coils. Put your fuse back in. Turn it on just to make sure you didn't mess anything up. And then you're good to go. So once again, thank you guys for watching another video with Everything Avery. We've got plenty more to come. All kinds more projects for the Scion. Probably some a little more maintenance items for the GTR. Maybe something coming up for the Jag, as you can see in the background there. Sun's going down. Time for dinner. So I'm going to get on out of here. Catch you guys out in the next video soon.